Hello friends, good morning. Today I am coming up with a very interesting topic on stock valuation where we need to set up input and output account without Anglo section. So what happens is when we are using Anglo section accounting, normally Odoo does settle the stock input and stock output account, you know, with stock received but not built and stock delivered but not invoiced type of you know accounts on product category so when i go to product category normally we put stock input account like stock received but not built and stock output account as stock delivered but not invoice but now i have not enabled anglo section so without this anglo section Udo does not clear those interim account and uh, don't reconcile it so how do we tackle this you know i have found a hack so i would like to share with all of you guys so here is my setting i am using average costing as a method then valuation is automated uh, this is my regular inventory valuation account and then on my input account i have selected stock interim account so i rename it as stock interim account and in stock output account i have configured cost of goods sold in trading or cost of revenue or purchase expense so this is nothing but a purchase expense type account which we normally configure in expense account but now what i have done is i have replaced this expense account uh, with interim account and stock output account as cost of goods account so with this impact now how would will tackle that particular transaction let's see that so with this stock interim account will be reconciled whenever we receive and whenever we deliver the item and then cost of goods will be hit when we deliver the physical goods to our customer so in our current ledger report today we have made some transactions okay. and then my inventory is over here with stock interim account and cost of goods as well as sales account so this is how when i receive 580 worth item like product one then it hits my inventory debited and then stock interim account is credited so you can see stock journal 001 stock journal 001 entry right and then uh, when i create the vendor bill then it has register directly payables over here with bill number 001 okay and then it has debited the stock interim account when i create the bill so let's see how it works so now if i go to my purchase before that let me create a whole new product like product one was there product two is also here let me change this category to new c and new c category where i have set my stock input and stock output account and expense account at differently so product 2 i have zero costing sale price is let's say 200 and now i am going to purchase this i don't have any stock so i am going for purchasing this particular item pro 2 let's say i am buying 10 units at the rate of 10 so as soon as i confirm the order and i'm receiving the order and validating it it will create my valuation entry so over here in my general ledger the impact will cost is debited like inventory is debited with my valuation for product 2 right and then stock interim account credited with 180 which is counterpart account okay now let's say i am creating a vendor bill for this so as soon as i confirm the vendor bill how it works so over here now i refresh this and then this particular account stock interim account is debited and it is clearly clearing out the balance to zero so this is how with continental accounting i have zero down the stock interim account because i have changed or manipulated this configuration properties Okay. now let's see on the other hand when i am creating a sales order for that particular product how it will behave so for two 
I am trying to sell two unit at the rate of 200 each and I confirm that system will generate the delivery and I am delivering the goods so after refreshing my ledger I can see 20 AD worth of goods is credited because 10 AD each uh, was my purchase and then the counterpart account cost of goods sold in trading will be debited so this is how when I deliver my cost of goods will hit over here okay this is how it will work and then I will create a regular invoice and then at that time it will register my income for sales and then when I refresh this I will be able to see my sales so sales 480 worth of credited and then my receivables with tax is debited so this is how we can you know configure our product categories with continental accounting or you can say without any section accounting how i can zero down or i can reconcile the stock interim account by you know configuration of my category so let's see in product category again i have set up stock interim account as input account and stock interim account as expense account and my expense account i have set up as output account so this is the hack i have used to manipulate the system to reconcile the interim accounts correctly and then within continental accounting you can manage your interim account very swiftly very easily hope this will help many people to configure or do like this way i know this is unconventional way but this is how we can set up Odoo with automated accounting and without anglo section to get our interim account settled down or reconciled thank you guys good day